It might not. I might have to close things. Well, that's okay. Um, <laughs> oh, this is not facing the right thing. Um, there we go. There we go. No? Yes? Nope. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Hi, everybody who's here. If anybody is in here, I think there's some people in there. Now we've got... Hi. Hello? Hello. Hi. Oh, yay! Okay, we are live. Excellent. Um, there's going to be some weird stuttery nonsense going on. Um, is that better? Okay. Because I have Firefox open. And maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> Hi! Hello, everybody. As you can see, I am very sanitary with my cat in the kitchen. Knox has feelings. She um, is mad because I basically came straight home from work and, like, barged on in. I was like, I gotta clean my kitchen. I gotta do this. Um, so she's been hanging out here getting pets and purring, but she didn't get, like, basically if I come home from work and I don't pick Knox up, then she is a sad cat. So, hi, everybody. I don't know if anybody in here is new. I think I recognize all of your names. Knox, down you go. So if you... <clears throat> if you miss the memo somehow, if you look up, I think is where it is, the, um, the thing that tells you what's, um, what's on the stream, we're going to be baking butterscotch cinnamon cookies, doing our best. I don't use recipes generally, so um, I baked these cookies for MAGFest and people liked them, so we're going to see if I can recreate them. Hi, Tim. I'm glad to hear from you. I hope you're doing all right. Drop me a note sometimes, okay? Um, Oh, Kit and Kayla, well, I hope you enjoy it. I am a messy streamer when it comes to baking especially. So this is my setup. We've got my camera here. See, you can see its butt right there. And then my other camera here, which is attached to my laptop. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to get started. I guess I should grab my butter. You'll be able to see what's happening here once I move the camera from there, but we're going to start with that. <laughs> Baking by whim. Okay, so I bake so much. Shadow Law Wolf. Yes, there are going to be cookies. Butterscotch cinnamon cookies, to be specific. Um, we're going to um, listen to some music that's relevant to what we're baking, provided that my laptop doesn't explode, which it shouldn't, because I got a new power cord. If the screen shakes, by the way, it's either my cat I don't know what that is. Oh, that's from a part of the game that I didn't play. Okay, let's, hold on. Open playlist. Nope. That's not right. Cake, I don't know about cake. Well, we might make some banana bread, because everybody likes banana bread, right? Does anyone here not like banana bread? Mm. Where is view playlist editor? There we go. Yes, this is the promised cooking stream. I said I, said I would do it. And here I am with a cat. Nox, are you going to shed cat fur in my cookies? Yeah, I try when I'm baking for other people. I try to be better about not having the cat everywhere. But these are going to be for me and my friends uh, and possibly my coworkers, and they know what they're getting into. Let's turn off shuffle, and we're going to start. Tell me how the audio balancing is, if you can hear me. Oh, good. You guys appreciate banana bread. Yes, we've got multiple cameras. We have to be on the laptop to do that because um, the laptop has a built-in webcam. That's this one right there. Hi. Um, I just got to be able to access this one too. Oh my god, my poor computer. Okay. It's too loud. Okay. Okay. I turned the music down. Let me see if that's any better. Yeah, you're going to get midstream humming. That's basically how my life is. So before I proceed, I'm going to wait until you guys respond and let me know about the audio balancing, if it's any better. That's good? Okay. Excellent. Um, so, what we're going to do to get started is we are going to make butterscotch. I don't like using flavors and things. Okay, well, I can always drop the music down a little bit. That's not a problem. Drop it just a little bit. Okay. So, I don't usually use recipes, but I've never made butterscotch before, so I refuse to use butterscotch chips. I am that person. I don't like using things that are pre-made or pre-packaged or whatever. Um, I'm going to want this. <clears throat> so
So when I decided I wanted to make things with butterscotch, I had to learn how to make butterscotch. So, see if I still, the problem is that my computer, ah, hold on. Max, this is what I mean when I warn you guys. I'm not a professional quality streamer. So my laptop is the only, my desktop can't handle multiple cameras, and my laptop can only handle multi multiple cameras. What just happened? Why is it on random? That's not supposed to happen. No. Okay. Sorry. That doesn't make any sense in the context of the game, and I got distressed. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> Nox. Yeah, no, if I had a better, um, if I had a better computer, then I would be able to do multiple cameras, more, more, more cameras. But right now, we don't have that, so we make the most of what we got. <laughs> yes. Welcome to Baking with Lauren. Oh, look, my camera's not even in the right place. Let's start the music over, because I want it to be in the right order. Ah, uh, okay, we're gonna try to start over. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so this is supposed to, supposed to be showing you the pot right here where we're going to make butterscotch. As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by my attention stealing webcam, um, I make things from scratch. So I am making butterscotch from scratch and I had to look up how to make this one. So there, in chat, there is a recipe from Smitten Kitchen. Smitten Kitchen is a great food blog. I love looking at her baking. Knox? Knox, I see you there. No. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Let's change that. Food, is this that one? No. Hold on. OBS, what are you doing? Baking? There we go! Oh, thank you, Cinebox. I drew that. Um, it's me. This calls for lots of exclamation points and hearts. Oh, 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 and you know what else it calls for? Yes! Goat mom. Okay. So... Haha, <laughs> it's funny, I have this camera right here saved as mixer cam. <laughs> oh, what's it doing? Did it just change? I don't know what it did. Okay, so that's why everyone was saying cake. Hmm. Mm. Okay. There we go, okay. We don't have any recipes this time. Yes, cookies! For real. So if you look at that recipe, that's what we're going to get started with because we need the butterscotch to cool enough to put in the cookies. So they're act it's actually super easy. And you get to see me stumble around in my kitchen a lot. So if you want to look at it, it calls for, so we're going to make a double batch of butterscotch because we can. It calls for a quarter cup of butter, which is half a stick. But we're going to use an entire stick because we're doubling it. Because that's how I roll. Um... If I still, I'm sorry, my chat thing doesn't seem to be picking up what you just said. So we're gonna put a stick of butter in and listen to sad Undertale music. It's so bittersweet and beautiful. I am arranging this one. Okay, now you want to see a really happy cat. Okay, I've got a gas stove, which, yes, I have a fire phobia. Yes, that is a prodism. Knox! Knox wants this. The, uh, butter wrapper. Look at this. Baby! Will you be good if I give it to you? Come on, over here. There you go. Go eat it. Go on. Oh, see, now we see you. She wants snuggles, but she wants food. Come on, baby cat. Eat your butter copper. <laughs> oh no, Unicode goats. Well, I'm glad that you tried. That's what matters, right? See, I'm in character. I've got my horns. Okay, <clears throat> so what we're doing here um, is we are going to brown the butter. Has anyone here ever browned butter before? Oh man. Put on my 
there, thanks. Oh no, Dymo! Are we gonna spoil the game for you? Because we, we have played a lot of Undertale, so we're doing Undertale baking. I should put a picture of Undertale stuff there so everybody knows. Ah! Got it. Go this way. Okay. Brown butter is super fantastic. Oh, I should make the mixer can bigger, shouldn't I? Thank you, Devious Ambition. Whoa, look at that magic! Yes! Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> so, browning butter is basically butter when you cook it down. Can you see it in the mixer cam? I'm gonna start glowing on the other camera, but this way you can see. I would zoom in if I could, but I can't. I guess I can actually watch this. Whoa, is that working? <laughs> Cause you gotta be able to see what browning butter does. And that won't be helpful if you can't see the browning butter. Oops. Okay. Well, you may or may not be able to see, but basically it separates into this whitey, foamy stuff, and then the super gooey, liquidy stuff. And what we're going to do, basically, the milk solids, the milk fats, are the little white bits, and we're going to brown them. Bye, Annie Roll! You're going to eat your monitor? Oh, you should definitely eat food! Everybody, if you haven't eaten dinner yet, and it's dinner time, you should eat dinner. Thank you, though, Annie Roll. Um, if you drop back in, you can see how we're doing. Um, <clears throat> but you see that the butter is beginning to spit and hiss. We're going to get brown sugar, because what makes butterscotch butterscotch, as opposed to a regular caramel, because basically butterscotch is a simple caramel sauce. Don't make caramel without preparing, by the way, because caramel can really hurt you. It's kind of like napalm. It sticks to the skin and it's superheated. But, but butterscotch is way safer and easier. She says as she struggles to open her. Oh look, I've got scissors. Gotta be really careful though because I'm cooking something really hot. Yeah, so brown sugar and brown butter are part of where we get the really unique butterscotch flavor. So, I use dark brown sugar because it has better flavor. It tastes more molasses-y, and I don't like molasses, but I really like dark brown sugar. Go figure. Yes, if you're a strike that. I mean, if your mom is a professional pastry chef, then she knows what she's doing, but I have sugar burned myself before. Fortunately, I managed to get it off before it stuck. But otherwise, you can give yourself some pretty substantial burns. <clears throat> now again, if you want to reference the recipe, how are we doing over here? Mixer cam? And don't worry, we won't be consuming any human souls. We're goat mom. Not a certain troublesome robot friend. Okay, so it starts like sizzling here. The descriptions I've read of what you want is you want it to be like the color of a penny. So kind of like a rusty reddish brown, which I don't know if you can see it all, but it's still pretty pale yellow right now. So. to things, so have to be really careful. Yeah, this is a boogie music. So if you haven't seen yet, my favorite measuring cups, they are Matryoshka dolls, but I'm missing some pieces so they don't quite stand right. By the way, caramel is not the healthiest thing in the world. Uh, yes, you came here for cool dancing, right? Because I'm a cool kid. So if you look at this recipe again, so it calls for half a cup for half a recipe. 
which means that we want a whole cup of brown sugar. We have a cup! So, who here knows what you're doing with baking? I'm just gonna assume that some of you don't. One of you is the kid of a pastry chef, so I assume you know. The Cinebox, I think they came from Target, but I don't know. It was several years ago they were a present from my boss because she's the best boss in the world. <coughs> oh god, I hope we're not gonna have a game over tonight. Hey, Risk Man! Thank you for tweeting nicely at me earlier today. I appreciated that. It's a bit of a stressful day, but then I went out and had pizza with my best friend and wound up talking about Undertale after listening to Undertale music on the way over to the pizza place. Because this is my life. Caramel is amazing. Oh, good. Devious Ambition. Google saves the day. Okay, so when you're cooking with brown sugar, you pack it down like sand. Um, so it's really heavy. It's a lot heavier. Like a cup of brown sugar packed is a lot heavier than a cup of white sugar. Oh, look at that! Oh, maybe it's a little bit dark. I don't know if you guys can see it all. Mm, you know, parts of it are a little bit blackened, but some of it looks like it could still stand to brown a bit more. Nope, there we go. I don't know if you can see the color. I'm stirring it to try to make it so the color is more apparent. So then once we've done that, we dump in our cup of brown sugar and mix that in because you don't want to burn the butter. There's a difference between brown butter and burned butter. God, I love this song. But I can't sing along with it because I had to transpose it in my voice because I'm a soprano. And then... Bye, Dymo! We'll see you later! I don't know if I'm going to put this up on YouTube or not, but you'll be able to get it. Yeah, Zephyr is right. Um, the best way to do it is to have a scale, but I am not that cool. This needs to get rinsed out. So you're supposed to measure your liquids in a liquid measure and your solids in a solid measure. And I try to do that, but... My kitchen setup for all the baking I do, which is considerable. I baked a Tris Lusher's cake this weekend um, for a party that I went to. Um, for all the baking that I do, my kitchen setup is kind of a mess. So, okay. You'll notice that there's no... The, 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 the cup... We're kind of guessing what the cup measure is here because it's kind of worn off. Bye, Risk Man. Have a good night. Thank you for dropping in. I try to keep up with you guys, but it's kind of hard for me when I've got boiling liquid on the stove. Okay. Zephyrus. Oh, okay, Zephyrus. Okay, I can do that. Hey, the chicken wing. I use all, I don't even measure half of the things I do. That's probably part of why I don't, um, I don't know. Look, I'm cool. Okay, so this also calls for half a cup or half a recipe, or for full. So we're doubling the recipe, so we have a whole cup of heavy cream. Hi, Lord Octopus! So now we're going to dump this in here, and it's going to hiss and be really exciting and sizzle. Look at that, isn't that exciting? Aren't you excited? So you can do this without browning the butter, but if you brown the butter, it'll taste better. Man, I hope I did this right. It's hard to focus on baking when I'm also streaming, but that doesn't stop me from baking and streaming. I'm glad I have a headset mic, otherwise you guys wouldn't be able to hear me. See, like, you're seeing the back of my head, but you're hearing my voice exactly the same. Isn't that magical? If I had, like, some sort of, like, wireless setup for my headphones and my microphone, I don't think they make that, though. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to scrape up the bits because some of it got a little bit burned to the bottom of just just the sugar and the butter before I put in the cream because I got distracted by talking to you guys, which is um, I am Lauren, <laughs> and I get I get distracted talking to people. Um, looks like there's a little bit of cream that didn't quite make it in there. Do, 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 do. Maybe I should scrape it out. I have a proper scrapey thing. This is the best scrapey thing. Do, do, do. I kind of feel like I'm talking to myself now because I can't read what you're saying in chat, so don't say mean things about me, please. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to leave this to boil. Um, probably turn the temperature down a little bit. This is my not my hottest burner. You don't want to use... Oh, it's burning. God, this sun. Oh, I'm having feelings. Um, but yeah, you don't want to use your hottest burner on... Did you know that stovetops tend to have a, a boiled, like a sear burner? 
and a simmer burner. And in this case, this one right here is my simmer burner. And the one over here is my um, sear burner. So I have to be careful with using it. Things will burn easily. Hey, Dark Knight! You see, I thought about getting a wireless headset situation. Wireless things for band stuff, but that's a big expense and stuff. Oh my god, okay, I see you're asking me about baking violently enough. Um, so, when one of my friends gets back to town, we're gonna celebrate, we're gonna have a party, and we're gonna have an Undertale dinner party, and we're, of course we're gonna make spaghetti, I'm gonna stream the whole process, so we'll have two pots, we'll have the Undyne style spaghetti cooking, and the, I actually like to cook spaghetti cooking, so of course we'll be like, BAM, with our spaghetti, cause you gotta do that. Hi, hey, how's it going? Yeah, no, I'm like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like catching up. And everybody, meanwhile, I was over there. Everybody's here referencing Undyne's amazing cooking stuff. Um, hi, hello, um, gosh. Meditan Neo, I haven't seen, but I heard some music about that. Um, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't test it when I put it on my throat. But I do have friends who like have like a wall that have like the spaghetti. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I saved it, guys. <laughs> it's like slowly. It's because this is broken. I need to get a new tripod. But like <clears throat> this is part of my tripod. <laughs> The thing that keeps it from falling down is broken. Oh, and it looks like the camera's also falling off of the tripod. Because I don't know a better way to fix it than tape. <coughs> streaming stats. Fortunately, the camera is far enough away from the pot that it shouldn't fall in. So we're going to just like let this do its thing and stir occasionally. But we want, this, we want it to be thicker caramel because we're going to be using it in the batter. Dance parties are such a part of baking. I'm not a very violent baker, but when I listen to music, I dance, so we'll have that instead. I think we're going to add this to the band's medley of Undertale songs, or rather, we're going to add Bone Trousel, and you have to start with a little bit of yeah -ha -ha. Yeah, I know, Coil's electric stove suck. Oh no! Hi! Bamfret! Um... Let's see... <laughs> Candied camera... Oh my god, Feistel, well done! That's very, very appropriate to this stream. Somebody at work made a really good pun, and I was like, God, only one person at work will ever be able to appreciate Undertale jokes, and she hasn't played it yet, but she will! Um... Yeah, gas stove is... God, fire magic. Oh! You want to see the only way I can light a fire? Look at that! I lit a fire, guys! For those of you who follow my gaming streams and understand that I have a phobia of fire, like a real honest-to-god phobia, like I've only lit one match successfully in my life and I dropped it before I realized it was lit. Fire! <laughs> it's very exciting. <sighs> Yeah, cooking on gas is much better, but it's also a lot scarier. So basically what we're going to do here is we're making our butterscotch, um, and then we're going to let it cool, and probably while it cools we're going to make banana bread, because it's got to be cool enough not to cook the, cook the egg or melt the butter. Um. <laughs> didn't help. Yes. <laughs> this is the only thing I can use, though. Like, I can't use matches. Oh, oh, s'mores! I've held a thing over my gas stove to make s'mores and not the marshmallows. But I've actually found it's better. Does this work? Okay, that actually seems to work just fine. We're gonna do that because then I don't have the halo behind my head. Um. <clears throat> um. Oh, I got confused. I was saying something and then I got distracted. Um. But yeah, no, I make s'mores with the microwave now and Nutella. I hope the cookies are going to be great. 
Um, okay, so hey, how's it going? The reason why I'm making cookies and not pie is because I made this recipe to bring to Magfest, and cookies transport much, 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 much better than pie, and I was intending to feed a lot of people. So I went with cookies. And then people have been asking for that recipe in particular. So that's what we're making. Because people asked for that. Oh, I'm going to have to be done with the stove before I start accessing the pantry because this cord is in the way. And I had been going under it, but I didn't have this on my head. I guess I can step over it. <coughs> I like pie. I'm going to make a pie, but I haven't made a pie. I've made cookies, bars. I really want to try making cinnamon butterscotch tea because I can't have a latte because I'm not supposed to have caffeine. But I couldn't find any rooibos at the um, store. But we'll have extra butterscotch left over, probably. So. Oh, man! There's a bunch of Tims. Best baselines, Jeremy. That's a good question. <laughs> I feel like Earthbound actually might have the best base focused stuff. Overall, as far as soundtrack goes, I think Undertale and Mother 3 are probably going to be more than more my thing than than um, Earthbound was. Just not to say that Earthbound was bad, but it's very different from Mother 3, and I think Mother 3 is more to my taste. But for base, I think Mother 3 are. Um, a cinnamon bunny? I don't know what that would be. By the way, hi, Kojiro. Um, man, I've listened to the soundtrack so much. That's basically what I do. I was listening to a bunch of remixes today at work, which is pretty exciting. What am I doing now? Do you guys want me to make banana bread in the middle while we're waiting for this to cool? Which, as you can see from its current state, I was actually going to make a thing of butterscotch yesterday and put it in the fridge and then have cold butterscotch and lots of cold butterscotch. But instead I spent two and a half hours talking to my mentor about my thesis um, novel yesterday <laughs> on Skype because I had to rewrite much of it. But yeah, the cat seems to have left. I wonder if she is, is satisfied. I gave her some butter and she ran off. Banana bonus. Well, it's it's um it's banana nut bread because there's nut bread in because I don't usually put nuts in my banana bread. But it's banana nut bread because nut bread is in Mother 3. Fun fact. Okay, fun opinion. Lauren likes bananas more than almost anything. Especially banana bread. Why are these organic? Tiger Crush, why did you get organic bananas? Okay. Anyway, you put bananas in the freezer when they start going brown. Um, Smacking, you've got good priorities there. Um... If you put bananas in the freezer, the starch in them converts to sugar, so then they become more awesome. So you should do that when they start going brown, and then you can take your time in turning them into banana bread. Because why would you ever throw away a brown banana? You're depriving yourself of banana bread, and that is a tragedy. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna microwave these though, because they're really frozen, and that won't work with banana bread. Um, power level three? No! Power level. Oh, you have to push the button multiple times. You don't just put three. Oh, right. I have to actually cook. What's it doing? I did three seconds, and then it did seven minutes. I didn't know you could do that. You can put multiple times in my microwave. It's very exciting. The button presser, hello! Wait, Tim, you what? A dream where my husband hacked Ego Raptor's webkins account? I don't know what, what is webkins? Oh my god, my old lady. more truthful. Um. It's like 
them both. Um, what was I going to do over here? Oh, I was going to get flour and sugar. Not to be confused with flowy. We are not baking flowy in this house. I don't even want to think about that. Oh, guys, don't eat yellow flowers. It's a really bad way to go. Don't do it. Life lessons from Lauren. A couple of people on YouTube are like sharing that detail with me. I was like, holy jeez, that's bad. Alright, so this has been cooking for a while. It's probably cooked. I think it's done. So then we're gonna put some salt in. That is my secret, by the way. If you wanna know why my baking is good, it's because I'm not afraid to salt things. Because you want the salt to draw out the flavors in contrast with the sweetness. Making chocolate chip cookies? Super salt them. Oh, and then we want to put some vanilla in. Where's my vanilla? Um, it's in here somewhere. Oh, I guess I probably want baking soda instead of baking powder now that I have baking soda instead of baking powder. Oh, Zephyrus, you've never made banana bread? I don't, I super don't use recipe for banana bread. Oh! <clears throat> so, cinnamon is one of my favorite spices. Look at how much cinnamon I have. Oh, here we go. It's delicious. What else do I need while I'm over here in the pantry? Oh, nuts! Oh, nuts. Don't forget the nuts. Um, I don't think that even counts as a joke, does it? Ah, there's my vanilla. Vanilla is one of those things that's worth getting good, um, version. See? So you get a good one. Get one that is like actual vanilla and not vanilla flavoring. Vanilla flavoring gives me a headache and isn't as good. And I've heard it comes from like raccoon butts or something like that, but I think that that might just be the internet, the, the internet you know? You can't always trust what you read on the internet. Uh, okay, you guys see how like the vanilla made it all bubble up? So now we want this to cool down a bit. So we're gonna let it cool some here and then maybe we'll move it to the fridge if I can move it into a container that won't explode. Because I've got a bunch of bowls with the glass. Don't put a hot thing in a glass bowl and put it in the fridge. Oh good, Zephyrus is explaining the difference between baking powder and baking soda. We're going to be adding acid to our banana bread, <clears throat> so we will be using both baking soda and baking powder. Thank you for pointing that out. Oh, should we put chocolate chips in our banana bread? Buttermilk lasts a lot longer than you think. It's glorious. I have three containers of buttermilk in my fridge right now because I keep thinking I don't have enough. Gallo! You know these things. I'm sorry, I'm really excited. <laughs> I like it's my mixer! Okay, Chip thinks we should put chocolate chips. It's in Chip's name, so Chip knows. Chip, you win. Oh, I've got some cinnamon spice tea. I could put butterscotch in that. And then we could have cinnamon butterscotch tea. chocolate chips. I'm going to eat one of these right now. Okay, so we have milk chocolate um, and semi-sweet. We want to have good chocolate chips. Don't eat Hershey's. Don't do it. You might as well not eat chocolate. I get, um, what's it called? Not Giardelli, it's another Guitar. I don't know how to say it because I don't speak Italian. I gotta turn over. I'm thawing my bananas. I have to turn them over in the microwave. Oh man. Having like flashbacks to spears. So many spears. Why are there so many spears flying at my head? <clears throat> yes, baking soda makes a volcano with vinegar. No, the tea, don't eat them. I got walnuts to go in my banana bread because I don't know what nuts you usually put in banana bread. I like walnuts. Hershey's isn't even chocolate. At least do Nestle. Oh no, the button presser, I'm sorry. Well, if you're already hungry for dessert, life is gonna get harder. Hmm. Oh goodness. Oh dear. 
<clears throat> Hi. I haven't made pancakes in a while. But you gotta be prepared. Uh. I had pizza. I had, um, let's see. So these are good for a lot longer than they say they are, but this one might be a little too long. Let's see. So the thing is, buttermilk never smells good. But if you smell it and you don't have an immediate gag reflex, it's probably still good. Oh no, the button press there. God, I love pancakes. <clears throat> I'll make pancakes for you guys on stream someday. This one's good. Okay, I don't think I need to open up the new one. We'll put the new one back in the fridge. I'm really excited. So my friend Lobos, my bandmate, <clears throat> he hosts this um, streamathon streaming for charity thing that's been rebranded to so be called Fast Fair. And I'm going to be cooking for them the entire weekend. So it's going to be like 30 people in a house. And I'm cooking three meals a day for three days. I'm very excited about this. I'm going to make them so many pancakes. I get to get the giant thing of buttermilk, which is very exciting. Hi, Icy Dude. Welcome. Yeah, I know, Kahlo. I get... I always try to get the nicest, cheap stuff I can get, but never at the bottom. Even if you get like a second from the bottom, that's not so bad. Music is too loud. Okay. You know, it's also probably partly this. Um, that'll do. Okay, so the music is down a bit. Thank you, the tea. The tea, the tea makes sure that my audio is okay. I feel like I missed some more stuff that we were saying. I don't know what we were saying. Okay. You can also get buttermilk powder or freeze your buttermilk. Buttermilk is amazing. You need buttermilk in your life. Okay. Oh, I might want to have another thing of butter. The mixer cam is going to go back to earning its name. Whoosh! Pretend that you don't see how messy my kitchen is. Oh, don't look at the floor. Um. Oh. Huh. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, look! It's clean! Everything is clean in my kitchen! Hey, Zespera! Zespera, how are you doing? Zespera broke her arm this weekend doing Krav. Krav Maga with Tiger Crush. But he didn't break her arm, so I don't have to get super mad at him. Thank you, Icy Dude! I'm supposed to have a follower alert up. Did it not... Where is it? Did I turn it off? Huh. I don't know where it is. Oh, the song. On the good painkillers, huh? Well, if I see you, I'll give you some cookies. That'll count, too. Oh my god, the song... I didn't know, I didn't know when I played the game, but it makes me so sad. Oh, so those of you who've been following me, my Undertale Overture, my, my prequel rock opera of Undertale, I have done a lot of work on it, but I'm not ready to share it with you guys yet. Um, Zootopia is a movie I've heard people talk about, but I didn't know what it was. Nox, no. Nox, no. Nox. Nox. No. I know it's in the Nox spot. My audio stuff is in Nox's spot. Nox! Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, guys. Nox! Lord Octopus is following. Thank you, Lord Octopus. Nox. Nox, what did you do? Nox, what did you do? Oh, okay, it's back. <clears throat> well, it's cause, so there's, Nox. <gasps> Nox, Nox, no, 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 don't go back there, baby. Nox, 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 come here. Meow. Okay, you're gonna come dance with me, baby. Dummy 
Melanie is such a good song. Not! Is that what people call you sometimes? She's not the smartest cat, but she is the best! Oh, I'm sorry, Kit and Kayla. I really want to sing this, but I have to find somebody who can play it the right way. I don't know if I have the right voice for it, but I'm going to try it anyway. I'm a serious dancer. Dancing pro. Okay. <clears throat> Bananas. To make the banana bread, I just have to make sure that nothing get knocked in there. I'm a cat. Cat is named Nox because she is a black cat. And Nox is one spelling of the Greek goddess of night, also known as Nyx. But I think it's like a Latin Greek confusion thing. Somebody was yelling at me for being wrong about that. They thought it was a Harry Potter reference, but it all goes back to the same thing. That's true, Smacky, and it turns out that I can sing still alive. But, um, this is supposed to, like, this song needs you to be, like, like, dressed in, like, a flapper dress. You know, you gotta be, like, all singing and being awesome and stuff. Soften butter, so I like using butter better than oil. Never use shortening, shortening is disgusting. Knox, before you step on that computer, Knox, consider that there's more butter. You could step on that computer and get in trouble, or you could come eat this butter. Oh. <laughs> Knox, fly on the floor and feel like garbage. It's time. Come here, baby. Come on, baby. Uh, no, she's not named for video game. Knox, oh my god. Knox, come on. Baby. Sorry, guys. Nox, did you break my headphones? I can't hear anything. Oh, it's spook tune. Oh, there we go. Music is back. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> Pro cooking with Lauren. Nox doesn't care about anything. She's a fat cat. Okay, so we're going to beat the butter, which is softened, by the way. You soften the butter so that you can beat it. That'll affect the final product. What was I looking for? Bananas! We're going to dump the bananas in here. Oh, my God, the song. <laughs> Dude. Hey Chaloa, you made it to a baking stream. We're taking a detour. Detour? Is that the right word? I don't think it is. We're taking a break while we let our butterscotch cool to make banana bread. Bananas. So, this is Tiger Crush's fav favorite, and by favorite I mean least favorite thing about my baking, is this is what happens when you freeze a banana and then you unfreeze it. It slides out like a slug. He's like, oh my god, Lauren, could that be any grosser? I'm like, probably. Just peel off the top and squish it right out. Look at that. Banana! Yes. <laughs> Good mom. <clears throat> I freeze them in the peels because Tiger Crush doesn't want to deal with them once they turn brown, so he just tosses them in there so he doesn't throw them up. Now we're going to put some arbitrary amount of brown sugar and white sugar in there because that's what I do. Bananas are really cool. Jeremy Z has the right idea. That's probably 
humbly enough. And then we're gonna get some brown sugar over here. Oh, is it Zephyrus? Okay. Zephyrus knows. And then, like, just there's for some reason birds chirping. Buttermilk. So I put buttermilk and vanilla in with my banana. Shake up your buttermilk if it's a bit old. If it changes color, don't use it. It smells like ordinary gross, but it's actually the most amazing substance. I love buttermilk. Well, Chaloa, we're all learning new things. Zephyrus knows things. Master banana! You can use a banana master? Or not a banana masher, a potato masher. I mean, I guess they probably, William Sonoma probably does like a specialized banana masher because they're for people who want to spend a lot of money on really specialized things that only do one thing, like an egg slicer. That's a knife. You can use a butter knife for that. Oh, I should probably preheat my oven. Let's go with like 325-ish. <laughs> Anyway, the bananas should be mashed up to some degree, but they don't have to be perfectly mashed. <clears throat> they mash more easily if you make them into slugs first, as opposed to just taking them directly out. Too much goodies. Maybe we should put this in our medley. Wedge can play that. What do you think? That's a good piano part. A strawberry slice? Are you serious? You can cut... Okay. Because it's like you can cut strawberries with a butter knife, too. Alright, so... This guy. We're just making this like you usually make a cookie, <clears throat> which is to say, cream the butter and sugar, kick things with your foot. Um, oh, I suppose I, I have the vanilla. I don't know. Somebody's at my door. Hold on. The verdict, it turns out, is that the post person, the male person, brought, we're in a duplex, brought our neighbors stuff to us. So I'll have to bring it over there, but I'm not going to be um, Anyway, you guys were talking about something and I missed it because there was a doorbell. Oh man. Look at what a pro I am! Look at this! I'm like off camera! Yeah! Son. <laughs> Dignity. Dignity.
Oh my god, I'm showing you the hurt not to laugh too hard, it's my stomach hurts. Alright, we're gonna scrape down the sides of this. Because my mixer, even though it's a super nice KitchenAid thing, it's also 20 years old. So it doesn't scrape to the edges very well. So we'll do that. There we go. Oh, actually, I, I asked you guys a question and then I looked away. Are you guys eating? Have you eaten dinner? It is a good dinner time. You should eat dinner. Unless you ate half a pizza for lunch and are still not hungry. Like I did. Greg and I split an eggplant parmesan pizza, medium eggplant parmesan pizza at home slice. It was delicious. All right. So, delicate balancing act. I don't usually do this. I kind of like it. It seems to be working. So what we're going to do here is... Um, <clears throat> have an impromptu dance party. Um, we're going to do the, this thing you do sometimes where you alternate dry ingredients and wet ingredients if you're making a batter, like a cake, it's a good idea. Baking soda. Don't be like me. Measure your ingredients. I never know how it's going to turn out. Jellyfish? You made jellyfish button presser? That's really exciting. Spicy chicken. What kind of spicy chicken? I mean, that tells me uh, a... Koboniki, the Tetris song? It does. Hey, Wigwam! Sorry, nothing here is gluten free, Wigwam. Cinnamon is amazing. I put cinnamon on my, in my banana bread. Along with other things, I have some fresh ginger. That might be overkill. It is showtime! Actually, it's not the pressure. See what else have we got here? We've got some ginger. Cumin, no. Curry powder, no. Garlic, no. Cardamom! Ooh. That looks like Ginger? Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing over here, can you? I'm dumping all of this stuff into a bowl, which I guess isn't really. Oh my god, I love this song. I wish I know I can say about like the entire soundtrack. But still. So you want to use a light hand with cardamom? Again, super classy labels. I really want somebody to do an arrangement of this so I can sing that part. <clears throat> salt. If I were better at this, I would have just the salt that I put in. Yes, the button presser. I have heard of Homestuck. I know that Homestuck is one of Toby Fox's inspirations, and a friend was telling me stuff about Homestuck this weekend. I didn't realize how it worked exactly. I read MS Paint Adventures a little bit way back in the day when it was MS Paint Adventures and not Homestuck. So now we see whether I made enough drawing ingredients. Yeah, Smackian! It is a good song. I swear that's a saxophone. People that I know disagree with me, but they're wrong. So good. Oh, 
we haven't made the cookies yet. We're making banana bread right now. Wait, is Showtime from Homestuck? I thought that that was original from this, but I don't really know. It just it has a really throaty texture, so it sounds like a saxophone to me. You see, we're, we're doing that thing I was talking about where we're alternating the dry and the wet. We're going we're gonna to make the cookies. We're letting the butterscotch cool first, or it's going to cook the egg and melt the butter, and nobody wants that. Alternating with wet and dry always end on dry. Don't overbeat it though, or you'll overactivate the gluten in the flour and then it gets tough. I was like, man, I bake all the time and I have a really bad crumb when I bake. What am I doing wrong? And that was the answer. Hey, Valka, say yes. <coughs> I have horns. Because I'm, I'm your goat mom. That's true, Big Mom. You don't have to worry about that. You're gluten free. Maybe it's a way you should eat something. You shouldn't replace blood with dough. Although, just technically, this is a batter. It's like, yeah. I think it should be pretty okay. Maybe a little bit more. Hi, music crew. Nuts and chocolate chips. And I'm too lazy to uh, cut them with a knife. So I'm just gonna crush them in my hands. Nut crushing. Probably by the time this is in the oven, we'll be able to uh, switch to the thing that you guys are all here. Yeah, but Zephyr, I don't want to use all of them or I would do that. Although that would be pretty exciting. too much though. That's okay though. If we're trying to replicate nut bread, oh this song, oh my god. I didn't think I was gonna care as much, but I did. Oh it is a metal crusher, isn't it? Hi Drew! I didn't crush all of them. 
but I did kind of go a little overboard from what I meant to do. Look, I got peer pressured into doing it. Gotta entertain my friends. bake sale. Oh god, it's so good when it comes in like that, isn't it? It needs lyrics. I don't know what they would be. It's not going in Undertale Overture, though. Because that's a prequel with drama and melodrama and drama drama. Oh good, our butterscotch is cooling a bit. And it's nice and thick. Excellent. Good. So I've never been able to get behind using Pam spray and stuff. So I just put butter and then flour manually in a pan. Here, I will demonstrate what I'm doing for those of you who've missed my streams before. So you don't know that this is what I do. I want to try to give you guys techniques with my messy home baker thing. That's okay, Jeremy. That's that's true. Not ev not everything needs lyrics, but it's because the um that one in particular has um. <clears throat> I do really like melodies and singing. Maybe I just want an excuse to sing. But it's because the other versions of that, the <clears throat> ghost versions, actually use a singing sound font. Hey, runny butthole. Oh man, peanut butter cookies, Drew. Those are a nice, easy one to make and delicious. Okay, so <clears throat> we've buttered it pretty thoroughly on the sides. And now we're going to flour it. Yeah, no, I should switch to Pam. Because I bake so much, it would save me a lot of time and hassle with butter, but... Uh, Toby Fox, why do you do this to me? Toby Fox, why do we have similar tastes in things? So, see, we're trying to spread the flour over, making a lot of noise. See, I don't really feel Muffet has the sort of serious core to her that makes all of the other characters quite so good. Like, she's super excellent as a smaller character, but to be main cast, you really gotta hold up well, seriously and comically. It's about to start. 
Mario with the Final Fantasy VI sound font, guys, listen! I like it. Just a little bit. Alright, so we've got a batter. Looks... Looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's got some nuts. It's got some chocolate. It's got some bananas. What else could you want? God, this song is so good. I know I say that about everything. It's not my fault that it's a really good soundtrack. Thunk a thunk a thunk. Nuts and chocolate chips. Yum 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 yum. I usually bake banana bread in a bunt pan because then it cooks faster and I'm really impatient. And quick breads tend to have really runny middles otherwise. But I'm not doing that today. I don't know why. I. Well, I am going to have nice cream when I do my Undertale feast, and we're going to have like some sort of sherbet palate cleanser between courses, and it will have very nice affirming statements written on it, so it can be nice cream, because I'm sorry guys, my duct tape is insufficient. Alright, this could end in disaster. That bowl is kind of precariously perched on my sink. Alton Brown is right, man. Chocolate chips are definitely better than raisins. But that's not true for, um, dried cranberries, because you can put those in savory things. I guess you can put some... Hmm. Hi, Magic Fire Dragon. I'm baking. <clears throat> the banana bread is going to go in the oven and then we're going to get back to the main course the main event, what you guys are all here for is our butterscotch cool enough? Mm, I think so ooh it has a strong sm strong odor in a good way look at that, look at that butterscotch look at how delicious see how it's actually pretty solid like it's not super runny that's good, let's see Okay, it's cool enough. And delicious! I'm happy. Bye, Nightmare Fredbear! <laughs> Butterscotch is much easier than other caramels. I think I missed something that somebody else said. Returner's poster. Oh yeah, the returner's posters are weird sized. Okay, so <clears throat> when I went to MAGFest, I made a lot of butterscotch cookies. Not enough as it turns out. No, you don't need a double boiler! Ah! Uh. <clears throat> I need to figure out what to do about that! Where did I put my duck? There's no, yes, there's my duck tape. Oh, Zephyrus, have fun. Who do you play as in Street Fighter?
man, Cammy. Not my favorite character, but that's okay. This song is so good. Bye, Drew. Thanks for hanging out. Wait, going to heaven? What? What are you doing? Man, you guys know way more about Stripper than I do. Yeah, the Sands of Time poster is a normal size. I forgot that I had those. Those are old. I haven't done that kind of art in a long time. Oh my god, yeah, no, Disco Cactus killed this song. Oh, they're so good. <clears throat> I need to ask Doug if he's gonna play, um, vibraphone for me. Not like he has a million other projects going on or anything like that. Oh. But <clears throat> people have said that Azriel's instrument should be something like a piano or a vibraphone, because it lingers even after it's gone. But a piano I want to just use regularly for everything. Oh no! I'm sorry. Oh, so good. Why are guitars so great, guys? I don't know, but they are. I wonder if it's going to stay. I want to. Uh, people keep telling me that I should play Stardew Valley. They said that I should stream it. I don't know if that would be really interesting to people, but it's a thing I've considered doing. God, Death by Glamour is so good. Why is this whole soundtrack so good? Shalom, of course, knew it was coming. Oh yeah, we're going. Do you have video of that so I can share it with people? <clears throat> I'd love to hear whether I played the right notes or not. underground and I joined them for a song. I put a lot of salt in that. Well I think that's a good thing. Hey Brennamanian! Jazz is not my favorite. My favorite is um <clears throat> Man's Espera. I would love to. I have to make sure that I do grad school work though. <laughs> And Jeff has crab a lot this week, but if we can make it work, then I can bring you cookies and maybe you'll feel better. Oh, thank you, Super Hobbit! I didn't know I was going to be playing with them. Apparently they asked me and I forgot. Um. Yeah, I didn't like Metaton at all for the first while. Because I was like, why are we spending so much time on this slightly obnoxious character when I want to go to the heart of the drama? But then this scene happened. First Death by Glamour, and it was really great. And then this scene happened, and I was like, I forgive you. Also, going to, um, um, <clears throat> the bent, bent, um, Ghost house. <laughs> Thanks, Drew. So what we're doing here is we're just making this directly into the batter. Like, 
When I say these are butterscotch cookies, like, I'm not kidding. They are, like, made with butterscotch. <clears throat> yeah, no, the secret key definitely opens up an entire extra bit of his personality. This was definitely one of the hardest fights for me, because I couldn't, um... I couldn't figure out how to deal with the things that he did. Like, <clears throat> how to avoid bombs. I got a bit frustrated, I'm not gonna lie. So we put in about half a, half a stick of butter. Putting in, right now we're putting in maybe a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. Because there's already sugar in there. <gasps> you don't like Alphys? I love I love Alphys. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. So maybe half an hour, half, half an hour, half a cup of extra sugar. <clears throat> it's not chocolate, Drew. That's butterscotch. Made with butter and brown sugar and determination. Oh my god. Maybe this is the best song on the album, on the soundtrack. Having complicated feelings about Alphys is reasonable. Yes, half an hour of extra sugar. That's right, the chicken wing. Pro stream or something. Um, maybe a third of a cup. So people are gonna ask me for the recipe after this, and so I'm gonna try to be able to give it to them. So I'm estimating things. Oh, Brennamania is was a teacher. Now he teaches the teachers to teachers. This is what happens to all of the good teachers when they're tired of being chewed up and spit out by the education system. Um, I'm not bitter or anything that a number of my favorite teachers when I was growing up got in that same situation. And now I have a bunch of friends who are teachers and I understand. Now if you can see, this is beginning to look more like a dough. I don't know if you can see anything about the texture of it. But I'm basically, instead of having, usually you cream sugar and butter. This has butter and sugar in the uh, caramel. To which I've added more butter and more sugar. Hey, on the tea party, what are you doing awake? It's like two in the morning. Bins. Oh, they are bins, aren't they? singers, each singing different parts at different times, and their four instruments joining them too. <coughs> hey, China Game! Away from disapproving what? Well, you should be in bed, but you're a grown-up, so you can make decisions like that. I can just disapprove of you. It's okay. <coughs> I don't sleep enough, so it would be really hypocritical of me. So we're going to estimate. Why estimate? Is there brown sugar in it, right? Well, there's going to be more brown sugar in. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see how much flour we're putting in. Oh no! Camera! Camera! Why? Because I've got layers of duct tape. Is why. Okay. Well, you can probably hear this played by a string quartet. <clears throat> but it's gonna be one of the really important songs early on in Undertale Overture. Which is what I'm calling it. I hope does it does it sound pretentious that I've named my my fan project thing? 
I don't know. I feel like the whole thing's kind of silly. And then I start feeling like maybe it's really stupid and I shouldn't do it. But then I start working on it and I'm just like so delightedly in love with the whole thing. <clears throat> Fortunately, yes! <gasps> I have some. So, Overture is. So, if you go to see. Like, an opera. When, before you, when you, like, start sitting down, the orchestra will play. Oof! Sorry. The orchestra will play what's called an overture, which kind of has some of the main themes and sets up what's... Oh, oh I did that wrong. Didn't I? Oh, jeez. Good thing my hands are clean. Did I not? Where's my scoop? So an overture is the thing that comes first, has themes from the original, lets you know what you're going to get into, but isn't necessarily as good or as thorough or as full or complete as the actual thing. So it's actually perfect, because what I'm making is a prequel. So we're just going to pretend that I didn't lose my scoop. <clears throat> but, um, and it's a pun on Undertale and it has themes, and it's kind of an overview, and I don't know, it's just, if you're a classical music nerd, it's a really good thing, I don't know. So that's about a cup and a half of flour that I put in. Thank you guys. Oh my god. I hope nobody finds a scoop in their cookies. All right, so now I have to actually measure These things are probably older than some of you guys. I know it does actually kind of ring out a bit there, doesn't it? This song makes me think so much of Mega Man X. Hey, Lucian! <gasps> so you are moving into the apartment, Lucian? Oh, that's fantastic news! Congratulations! I'm sure you'll find a way to make it work, but I'm excited. We're starting with half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Drew, you're a silly, silly person, aren't you? Do you think half a teaspoon of cinnamon is enough? See, Brennan Mania, you know what I'm talking about. There's cinnamon in there, but you don't want it to overdo. So it is a Mega Man X sound file. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. My heart. <laughs> this game. Salt. Um, I guess I should probably try to measure how much salt I'm putting in, shouldn't I? Brennamania, have you beaten the game? Because otherwise... Okay, so like... Maybe a little under half a teaspoon? Okay, Lucian, that makes sense. Well, I'm still excited for you. Well, I'm glad that you have a new place, Lucian. <clears throat> and hopefully we'll still hear from you occasionally. But I definitely understand that's a smart decision. Brenomania, Undertale. Did you beat Undertale yet? I thought you hadn't, because you were gonna be streaming more of it this weekend. While you brew, because everybody wants to make Undertale themed things. What kind of an Undertale thing can you brew? Alright. So this is about a cup and a half of flour. Three quarters teaspoon of 
Oh, I didn't put any extra vanilla in, did I? Probably don't need to, but I could. Oh, I need to put an egg in! Thank you guys for reminding me that I need to put an egg in. Oh! Oh no! Camera! Sorry. Oh, okay. You beat it, beat it twice? Am I the only person who only played Undertale once? I mean, I'll probably go back and play it if I get a new computer, which I might do. I've been saving up for one. Where did I put my eggs? Where are the eggs? Eggs. Eggs! They're over here. <laughs> With the scoop? What scoop? We don't know anything about a scoop. Okay, one egg. Because I'm making a normal cookie batch, not double like I made for MAGFest. I should have tripled. That's a good way of thinking about it, Lucian. Whenever something goes a little bit off, and then sometimes it turns out that that's the incentive you need for things to change. A catalyst, if you will. Yeah, it's gonna be pacifist for me again, too, but I might, I might say that anime is real. Actually, no, I wanna, I, there are a couple of little things that I think I missed that people have, have implied is there in the game. Butterscotch cinnamon ale, orange cream, so interesting. Wait, mic is not working? The microphone? I shouldn't, I still see it. But you can hear me. Tori L. Hops and dreams, oh my god. You're amazing. God, this song. Now imagine Bergen Truck and slow down with like a flute, um, and maybe acoustic guitar very slow like a metal intro and then cymbal crashing before it goes into Asgore. That's what I have in mind. Hey Smiling Spear! Yes, these are the... I'm trying to recreate the cookies from MAGFest. We'll see how well I succeed. We've also got banana bread in the oven, but it's banana nut bread in honor of Mother 3. Oh my god. That face. Heartache. Ah, oh, so good. And then that's when. <clears throat> oh, Smiling Spear hasn't beaten the game. Okay. Anyway, the relevant characters will be talking back and forth during this part. Devious ambition, I've, it's kind of. The other bits of the story have floated to me, um, which is good enough for me. I don't want to see it. Yeah, well, I didn't have any baked goods at PAX because I was sick. I was like, nobody wants that. Remember the ages, then you are in luck. We'll see if this stuff turns out. <clears throat> Forgot to put just a little bit of baking soda in. God, it's such a good song. See, we don't make jokes like that in here. That's not the way we roll. Oh, you did beat it, Smiling Sphere. Okay. Excellent. And then this is when she's like, if you keep doing this, I can't stand here with you. He's like, no, I'm so mad. You don't understand how mad I am. I'm going to do this. And she's like, okay, fine, I'm leaving. Oh my god, yes, yeah, Smiling Sphere, that's the thing. Oh, Zephyrus, I'm sorry. Yeah, we... We had problems with the internet there. Yeah, I actually, I regret not, um, I tried to cram in too much of Undertale at one go, and I should have stopped, but, but that's right, Smackian, that's right, she told me about that. Yes, no, we don't cuss. And if I can keep my language clean, you can keep your language clean, because it's a bit of a challenge for me, too. <clears throat> 
Yes, we are partway through chapter two in Mother Three, which we will pick up with tomorrow at seven central. Oh, we're doing well time-wise. Good. So I have to go pick up Tiger Crush, so I have to be done with all my baking. No tea party, you should absolutely. God, yeah, this section. So I'd actually recorded singing that part because my friend Alejandro, who goes by AH Music, was doing a version of this tune. And he was like, Lauren, don't look up what this song is from. It's a spoiler. Can I get you to sing? And I was like, sure. Undertale, don't look into it, because you haven't beaten the game. I was like, okay. It's amazing, by the way. His video is really great. It has him, like, falling off his bike, musically. And, like, everybody was helping him with it, and it was really great. Bye, Hoi Guam! Thanks for hanging out! Oh, so here is a challenge for, um, Undertale Overture. Um, because a lot of it has to do with the first child, I'm going to put in music, and the first child on Azrael, I'm going to put in music to do with Flowey, but it's all very serious and sad, so can you imagine, um, uh, not, not your best nightmare, but your, uh, your best friend, like, slow down in a minor key, because that's going to happen. It is, oh hey, the tea, can you find it and share it with people? Hi, Mrs. Bad Example! We're, um... Got the song. I think we need a little bit more cinnamon. That's right, this is a bad example. We are making Undertale cookies. Not quite a, not quite a Requiem, but definitely not a happy song. No, it's no! You're very cute, but don't jump up here. I'm trying to figure out. banana bread doing anyway. It's going. More of this like serious type stuff where you've got like the like big open chords. Oh god it's such a good song though it's so weird. This whole section is just so weird like what was he thinking? Why did this happen? I don't know. This is when it starts like getting like real. Oh my god this whole whole thing. Oh my god. This game is so good. Ah, I can't handle how much I like it. Yeah, no, the writing, 
The writing is the best. It is probably the best written game I have ever played in my life. Yeah, wireless headphones. And I mean, I guess it's actually okay that I've got my microphone because it's tethered to my waist because you're supposed to be able to walk around on stage with something like this on. <coughs> Nox is a girl. Both of our kitty girls are girls. That's right, they're kitty girls. This is bad example. Hello. I don't know what that. I don't know what you just did because it's there at the bottom of the screen. But thank you. Oh. Oh, you hosted me. Thank you. Yes, Mackie, and welcome to my life being a there we go that should be better Nox 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 <laughs> baby <sighs> yeah it's a really good game I would have played it all in a binge thing, but I couldn't. I also am really slow, so it would have been like a 20 hour binge for me. Oh man. Yes, the soundtrack is one of my favorites. It's I think it's my number three favorite game of all time. Right after Final Fantasy VI and Suicoden 2. That's really high praise. But you know, it's been a month since I've beaten it. And I'm still freaking obsessed with it. I'm making a rock opera about it, guys. While also finishing my master's thesis. Oh yeah, you always think you're close to the end with it and then it turns out you're not. We are, by the way, if you missed it, we're buttering and flowering this. This is a bad example you should play Suicoden. Yeah, Smiling Spear. I was really excited once I realized I'd beaten the game. I was like, oh, I can listen to the soundtrack. So I heard, I finally have heard the songs that I will never hear in the game. It's going pretty well, Mrs. Bad Example. Um, I've had to kind of take a break from it because I've been really busy with <laughs> my honors thesis. Oh, no, my honors thesis. My master's thesis. But I have my 30,000 words of the novel, 125 pages with revisions back from my mentor, <clears throat> which means that I'm going to get to work on that. But in the meantime, hey, Chrono, I... So I figured out what songs roughly are going to go where. I've plotted out like the story of it, and um, I know what the parts are going to be. I have mostly arranged Asgore, but I'm actually going to go through and change it because I've been learning a lot about arranging and stuff. So you know, we don't have a scoop. There was no scoop. No scoop. Instead, just a spoon. Um, but things that in the long term will make it much easier for me to write parts for my instrumentalists. Um, mean that I'm going to probably redo some of my arrangements so far. Also, I've decided that each of the characters, in addition to being played by a singer-actor person, is they're all going to have um, an instrument that represents them too. So, Toriel is going to be flute, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Um, and I'm sorry if that's me calling rank, but I'm doing it. Um, Asgore is going to be a French horn, and Mark Popigan has sensitively agreed to do that, which is cool. Mark played... French horn for my wedding arrangement of Locke and Sully's themes. Um, and then <clears throat> the first child is going to be an oboe. Junkie Junkman, thanks for following. What just. Oh, did you miss what. Oh, the camera's falling again. I don't know what you asked about what you just watched, Kahlo. I was busy yammering. What did we say? 
Oh! Jeremzy, you were talking. Okay, sorry, I'm a little bit slow here. I'm catching up with the chat. Okay, Jeremzy, um, it has to do with the parents. That's all I will say because I don't want to spoil anyone who hasn't played it. But, um, it involves a look on Farid's face. Yes, it's, it's Peter and the Wolfish, that's right. Um, Battle Against a True Hero is an amazing song! Oh my god, I heard it for the first time like today or yesterday. Um, oh, this is actually cookie texture. Hmm. God, this whole part of the game is really unsettling for me. Don't you mean I'll be so Nox! <laughs> How appropriate. That was Nox stomping on my keyboard and changing the music. I haven't gotten an Asgore yet. I haven't, I haven't opened up, um, what's the word? I haven't opened up auditions for any of the parts except for the one obviously that I'm playing because I'm not auditioning for that because I'm doing it. Nox would probably eat cookie dough. Cook cookie dough. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be open opening up auditions soon. I just have to have music for people to audition on. I have scripted, like, written dialogue. I've kind of plotted out what I want the dial what the lyrics to be, but it's different than putting them... Maybe I put too much flour in this. I don't know. We'll see how this turns out. Um, but yeah, the first child is going to be an oboe because it can be beautiful and painful and excruciating and there's this one really crazy sound that the, my friend who's going to be o the oboe is like, I really want an excuse to play this weird oboe thing outside of new new music stuff. And I was like, well, I'm pretty sure that you can play that when the children are making really poor life decisions and everyone dies. That's pretty good. Definitely a lot of cat hair in this house. We can't help it. I take more, like I said, I'm more cautious about it if I'm baking things for people that I don't know. Nope. My couch is a little crowded. But in the case of things for me and my friends. <clears throat> hmm. This is weird texture. Who knows what it's going to turn out like. But it's recorded for posterity. Thwomp. Thwomp. Uh. So I never did figure out what the sync gigases are. Like everybody else gets to go home, but what are those? Or are they just there to be an homage to Earth, though? Bye, Kahlo! I mean, I can put this down. Mark, hey! I can put it on YouTube if you want. I think it uh, annoys some of my YouTube followers, but... <clears throat> I think that they're kind of sad that I post up so many streams instead of just music. And I'm sorry about that, but that's kind of my life now. So if you want, I can post it up. Do you guys think I should post this up on YouTube? I guess if I do, and then somebody on YouTube is watching this. Hi, YouTube, in the future, from the past.
Thank you, Chaloa. I've appreciated your support. That's actually really helpful for me to have your input. Because, like, <clears throat> occasionally I, like, look at, like, my numbers of unsubscribes and things like that on YouTube, and I'm like, man, I must be making some people annoyed. And I did have one guy who was like, are you ever going to do music again? I was like, actually, I've been posting music at about the same rate that I used to, but there's other content in between. YouTube. So, yeah, future YouTube watching this thing. Hi, I'm talking through time to you. Oh, this part. Oh. I have really big feelings about this game, guys. Like, legitimately, really big feelings. So, you see, we have to spread this in the pan. It's really weird. I think if I were to do this again, I would use a smaller pan and spread it less thinly. that I met at Pax. No sleep. Nautilus tea party. Okay, so this is what we look like. Spread it down. I'm going to put this in the oven for a little while. <laughs> Alright. We'll sleep well, Nautilus tea party. Oof. too gooey. So, bye Nautilus Tea Party. So we're going to put this back in the oven for a little while. Set a timer. For like eight. Oh, no. Kitchen timer. Oh, eight. Yes. We're almost done, guys. I really like socks. Oh my god, are you stuck on the sock solution? I don't know what was wrong with my controller when that happened, but it did. Um, I'm gonna eat some of this. Oops. Oh, I should put some of this on top of that. I'm gonna make butterscotch cinnamon tea. Look up butterscotch. Spice tea. I'm gonna do this. I'm very excited. Let's put some things away. <laughs> so I missed this bad example. Do you say that they have wireless headphones? Because that would really revolutionize things for me. Ah! Nox, I'm sorry! The ginger just jumped at her. It's okay, baby. Yes, look, Renomania, you're the one who's going to be making butterscotch cinnamon ale. You can only give me such a hard time about that. <laughs> Evolution. Oh, this song! Oh, it's so good! So, hey, when we're done with this, can I run my slightly revised lyrics for the um, poem by you guys? I've been trying to make them more Toriel-ish. Hey, Zio! Okay, Mark, your wife is awesome. And there's no such thing as too much Undertale, says the girl with the obvious Undertale problem. <laughs> this, this might be the best song in the game, oh my god. Ah, uh, it's so good. If it wasn't like three minutes on its own, then we would play it in our medley. Yeah. I 
I mean, listen to that electric guitar. Picture Lobos playing this. And then realize that I can't ask, ask my bandmates to play literally the entire soundtrack of Undertale that I would if I could. Yeah, the, um, the Fallen Down reprise is actually what I'm using as a base for <clears throat> the kids' meeting. Oh, the camera is falling, isn't it? Although there's not really so much to see here now. Maybe I should turn that off and we should switch to a music stream. I was going to make us do Asgore, but then I decided that I was going to make a rock opera about Asgore and his family. So I was like, okay guys, you no longer have to do, because I was like, we'll do a medley about the Dreamers! That I'm making an hour long thing about the Dreamers instead. So. But yeah, no, I have heard the genocide only music now. Bye, AZ Chips. Thank you so much for joining us. Did I just knock the salt on top of Knox? Um, <clears throat> Death by Glamour is also really long. No, Knox! Knox! Knox, Knox, the butter down onto the floor. I'm just eating it. Hey, Mr. Oh My God, it's a bear. Yeah, well, the problem is the... I'm going to turn that... Hey, look, you can see my Returners poster from PAX South last year. That's what that is with the camera. Oh no. I don't think that Mega Living is the best song, but it is a really good song. Oh my god, I heard I heard a remix somebody did of Megalovania plus um the Battle with Balos from Cave Story put together. It was really good. Shall we do a music stream? With what time we've got left? Oh look, it's the side of my head. What is my hair doing? Hair when it continue? I don't know. Yes, Smiling Spirit is. Um, you want to see the poster? Okay. Um, It's, um, the CD cover art that I made for the band, but we're all kind of cut off, but it's us, see, it's, it's pretty cool, it's an official band poster, because we're performers at PAX South, so we've gotten now three of those, so three bandmates have them, but I get the best one because I'm a band, I'm the band leader. Yeah, Smiling Spirit, I didn't listen to the Genocide Only music until a while. Yeah, no, they did not scale it well at all, so they stopped doing that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's pretty cool. I am going to be doing cover art for album two, and apparently I'm going to be doing a new t-shirt design because my bandmates requested it. So, that's going to happen. Um, oh man, the song. Do you guys want me to switch to a music stream for a little while? That's way easier for me to do than switching to an art stream, which I really need to do. Um, I need to finish that picture of the kids. Um, but... Do you guys want music? 
So it'll be done before we get to genocide stream stuff. Very exciting. So I can turn off. Okay. Okay. We're gonna switch to music stream then. Alright. Be prepared. Oh wait, actually. Hi. Yeah, it's been a while since um, I did a music stream on this computer, so. Chrono Triggerish. Okay. I guess I'm not quite sure what to do with this. to do music. 15 minutes to do music. Oh goodness, those cookies poofed up a lot. Hmm. Oh my goodness, what are they doing? I don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. The cookies are a mystery. <clears throat> yeah, we've got pretty cheap light fixtures here, but our landlord is a good landlord, so I can't complain too much. Okay, so... Let's see. I'm going to do home for you guys again because I've been changing my lyrics. Um, does anybody not like pineapple on pizza? Forty-five pairs of socks? Are you serious? It's a lie. Okay, you guys are gonna listen to this. Music. Here we go. 
so this I've changed the lyrics a, oop, a little bit to make them more Toriel-esque because they had a lot of contractions originally I'm gonna spare you the acting I'm still working on my Toriel voice but there's dialogue <clears throat> Once we lived far above. Actually, before I do this, um, I just want to make sure that the levels are reasonable. Make sure that that's balanced right. Frozen? How is it frozen? Okay, something went wrong. Did the audio sound balanced? Was that okay? Was the audio balanced? I don't know. It's fixed. Okay. Okay, well, we're going to do that. I don't know why I did that. Probably because I've been asking too much of my poor laptop. Okay, we're going to start over. I want to try the dialogue out on you guys, but then people will see it, and this might go up on my YouTube. Oh, man. Life goes on. 
hush, sweet child, have no fear. You'll be safe while I am near. Hold you close in my arms. I will keep you from all harm. Though the some trouble, apparently. They're not, they're not double horns, they're toriel horns, because it's Undertale, and I'm baking cinnamon butterscotch cookies, so we're singing some Undertale music. In the meantime, whoops, how are my cookies? Yes, I think they're done, maybe they're burned, I don't know, they're kind of weird looking. They were weird looking last time, too, but they were weird looking differently. I don't know how these turned out. We'll find out. Um, I think they're burned. Oh, wow. Well, this is what I get for never using recipes. But <clears throat> the oven is off. Thanks, Pixel Watcher. <clears throat> no, I'm not another kid. I just cosplay this tutorial. Um, <clears throat> okay. Hi. Do you guys want a little bit more music? I'll be happy to sing a little bit more. I could get out my flute, but the cats would be really mad. Um, well, thanks, Aspera. You'll eat the cookies even if they're bad. It's good to know that somebody will eat my cookies even if they're bad. All right. <clears throat> what other songs would you guys like? Do you want me to do, like, Pollyanna? Do you want me to do anything else in particular? If you were here, Chiloe, you could also have cookies. Um. I did play Lunar. I can do Winds Nocturne, Luna's Boat Song. I have a backing track for that somewhere. Oh, wait, my flute's in here. Yes, flute. Sorry, cats. You're going to hate this. Baby cats. All right, for those of you just joining us, <clears throat> this is why I'm called Lauren the Flute, because I play flute. The cats are going to be so mad. I usually lock myself in a room to do this. Sorry, wait, what are we doing? I can do a little medley. Okay, you want the boat song next? Okay, we'll do that. But for now... Take me 
moment.
So there you go. That's actually all I've got time for because I have to go pick up Tiger Crush from Croft. I think he'd be really sad if he had to wait longer than he already has to wait. Um, so I'm probably going to go ahead and shut down now. Um, if you're new here, um, I do apparently occasionally variety streams on Mondays. Um, I will be back with Mother 3, Chapter 2 of Mother 3 Blind Play tomorrow at excuse me, 7 p.m. Central. Um, Saturday I do music streams. Not this Saturday. This Saturday I'm going to do my regular music stream. The following Saturday is going to be band practice during the day and I'm going to stream band practice. So we'll see how that goes. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I'll let you know um, how the cookies do when they're cool enough to eat. Um, oh, do you want to see the cookies? Um, well, let's see what happens. We'll, we'll try cutting a cookie. Mm. Oh, they're burned. Boo. Piss. Well, maybe, no, maybe that's just the fact that there's lots of brown sugar in them. No, I think they're burnt. I don't know. They're really chewy, though. Look at that. Oh, wait, never mind. That's the wrong camera. Puffy Catbug, thank you for following. What did I do to that following a notification? I don't know. Look, it's like chewy, gooey goodness. Hmm. Those are burned. And tastes kind of weird. Super chewy. Really dark. Could have used more sugar. Hmm. Oh no, <clears throat> the giant cinnamon jar. giant peanut butter container and my husband's protein powder and stuff. Okay, well, so now you've seen the cookies. I'll post on Twitter and Facebook and stuff about the cookies, so you'll get more about them later. But for now, I have to go pick Tiger Crush up. So thank you guys so much. Keep in touch, and we'll do more stuff like this when I'm not drowning in grad school stuff. Good night!